Hello everybody and welcome. This is Dr. Hurt. You might have seen this experiment before. You take a iron rod like this, not particularly very exciting and not even magnetized, of course, as you see down below. I can't pick up these paper clips with a mag with a uh, iron rod like this. But you might have seen this experiment where you take a copper coil like this, put it through the iron rod, attach some electric uh, electrical current, which I'll do right here. And suddenly you've created your own magnet, right? So you can see that now I can pick up these paper clips. You can also see this interacts quite vigorously with the compass. Uh, if I point it this direction, you see the white arrow will come towards me. And if I go like this, you see it'll be pushed away from me, right? So I've created a magnetic field. I've induced a magnetic field through my electrical field, right? So the same thing goes on inside of the Earth. You know that the Earth's core is liquid liquid iron and the convection and rotation of the earth creates these convective cycles inside of the earth's liquid outer core that induces a magnetic field like that and creates earth's magnetic field it gives us beautiful things like uh, the aurora borealis right the, the northern lights now you also know probably from this class that there are a lot of magnetic minerals as well so magnetite is one of the most famous ones aptly named magnetite you can take a simple kitchen magnet like that and stick it right onto magnetite and it'll stick. And you probably also know that there are rocks in Earth's crust, especially basalt, that contain magnetic minerals, right? So basalt, which is probably the most abundant rock on Earth's surface and almost entirely composes the bedrock of the ocean floor, contains abundant magnetite. And in fact, this one has so much magnetite in it that I can even kind of take a kitchen magnet and a simple kitchen magnet can even stick to it. So um, that actually has quite a bit of magnetite. Now, it's not only that it contains basalt, which is the main uh, rock of the ocean floor, contains magnetite, but it can also preserve the orientation of Earth's magnetic field at the time that it formed. That provides really valuable information about the orientation of the magnetic field over Earth's history. And we can take something like this. I can show you with this compass down below that if I take a basalt rock like this, you'll notice that it's not only magnetic, but it also has an orientation to its magnetic field. So notice that if I go like this, I can push the arrow away. And if I flip it over, I can attract it. So attract and repulse. That's showing you that this simple basalt rock of the seafloor has preserved a magnetic field given to it when it formed from Earth's orientation of its magnetic field at the time that it formed. So anyway, this is how paleomagnetism works. This is how uh, we explored the magnetic anomalies of the seafloor and all over the Earth, actually. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this little demo. I'll catch you next time.